Welcome to our class of chemistry practical. Our chemistry practical session. Today we are in our topic of volumetric analysis. We look on experiment with their solutions. And our specific objective, we are going to look determination of water crystallization in hydrated acid and alkyl obeyed solutions. And we proceed with our experiment number six. Apart from other experiment number one up to number five, we have been taught about the determination of atomic mass of a known element and to identify the element of the compound. So experiment number six for today on determination of water crystallization, you are provided with the following solution. Solution X containing 4.9 gram of sulfuric acid per 0.5 decimeter cube of the solution. Solution Y made by dissolving 14.3 gram of hydrated sodium carbonate in one liter or in one decimeter cube. Our indicator for titration is methyl orange indicator. That is our solution or that is our data we are going to use on solving this question or this experiment. Procedure titrate solution X, which is acid sulfuric acid against solution Y, and record the burette readings in tabular form. That is procedure you are supposed to perform. It means you are supposed to know X is going to be in a burette and the solution Y you are going to pipe it by using a pipette either 20 mils or 25 mils. Then after procedure, we are going to look at the questions. The first question, how many the volume of Y required to try the volume of X for complete reaction? Second question, write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between Y and X. The third question, what is the color change for the reaction? So the color change for the reaction was from where to where. So you are supposed to note what is the color will appear and after titration, what is the color will be observed another question what is the purpose of the indicator in this experiment why you have been used the indicator in this titration experiment and another question what will happen when the burette and the pipette are not rinsed with the solutions and then the sixth question, what will happen when the burette tip was not filled during titration? The burette tip is the space at the bottom of your burette. So what will happen when it's not filled during, before titration? Showing your procedure clearly calculated the value of N in sodium hydrated carbonate. That is our questions you are supposed to know how to solve. You are supposed to think more on the a systematic way of the solutions to be calculated in correctly in order to acquire all marks of that question. Let us proceed with the answers to see how this question you can solve in a systematic way. The answer is the first step we are supposed to show the pipette USD and the burette USD. According to the apparatus we have a pipette, we have been USD 25 mils. Burette USD is 50 mils. That is our apparatus for titration. Then after that we are supposed to show the table results. Even if you are at equation there is no table of results you are supposed to record and to show the table of results. So, burette readings, when you fill your table, you are supposed to consider the SI unit of your volume, which is a centimeter cube. And then you are supposed to record your value into two decimal places. That is the principle in order to get 
that's the maxi from the table. The paper the USD is 25 mils. Then after that one, average volume USD. The average volume USD is theta 1 or volume 1, volume 2 plus volume 3 divided by 3. 12.5 plus 12.5 plus 12.5 divided by 3. Our answer, the volume of X USD is 12.5 centimeter cube. What is the volume of Y required to neutralize the volume of X for complete reaction? 25 of Y required to neutralize 12.5 of X for complete reaction. 12 of Y is the solution of base, and X is the solution of sulfuric acid. The balanced chemical question Sulfuric acid aqua solution reacts with sodium carbonate. The product is sodium sulfate plus carbon dioxide and uh, water in liquid. That is neutralization reaction between acid and the carbonate. And this compound of sodium carbonate is hydrated, but you are supposed to note that when you are showing your balanced chemical question, that amount of water is not included. So you are supposed to put in your mind in order to are going to solve your value of N. The color change for the reaction was from yellow to orange. That is the titration before and after. Before is yellow and after titration is orange or at the end point is orange. The purpose of indicator was to show the end point for the reaction. Or the purpose of indicator was to show the color change at the end of the reaction. Number five, the solution. What will happen when the burette and the pipette are not ranged with the solution? So the effect will be the solution will be contaminated. That's the first. The solution of pure of acid and base would be contaminated and there may be occur the change of concentration due to the content of water droplets. That is the effect will appear. And then what would happen when the burette tip was not filled? The answer is will you occur the wrong burette readings that lead to the inaccurate volume of acid to neutralize the base. So you are supposed to fill the burette above zero in order to fill that the bottom or burette tip in order to get the accurate volume for titration. Question number seven, by showing your procedure clearly calculated the value of N of hydrated sodium carbonate. So this question is supposed to think where you are going to start and then where you are going to, to be the end of your procedure in order to get the value of N or hydrated amount. First procedure is to determine the molecular of acid. Note that our question guided us inside of or acid. Our question asked inside of base, so we are supposed to start the molality of acid solution. Molality is the concentration of a molar mass, and the concentration is the mass of a volume. Our mass is 4.9, and our volume of dissolving this the mass is 0.5 decimeter cube. So the concentration is 9.8. Molar mass of sulfuric acid is equal to 98 gram per mole. So the molality is equal to concentration of a molar mass, which is concentration 9.8 and the molar mass is 98. So the molality of solution as the solution is 0.1 mole per decimeter cube. That is first procedure. Our 
another procedure for the second procedure or second procedure is to determine the morality of base solution because our the value of any is unknown so we use map because when you use mm, concentration of a molar mass we can't get the molar mass because n is unknown so you are supposed to use ma va and b is equal to mb vb and a so molality of acid have been calculated 0 0.1 volume of acid from the table of results or titration is 12.5 molality of base is required volume of base is 25 mils according our bill rate we have number of mole of acid is one mole and number of base number of mole base is one mole molecule of base which is mb is equal to ma va or nb divided by vb and a so 0 0.1 times 12.5 times one mole over 25 mils times one mole the molecular base is 0 0.05 mole per decimeter cube that is procedure number two Procedure number three to determine the molar mass of sodium carbonate hydrated. So, in order to get the value of N, you are supposed to know to have the molar mass of whole compound. So, the molar mass is the concentration of a molality, that is our formula, and the concentration is the mass of a volume. The, the mass is 14.3, and the, this gram dissolved in one liter, so the volume is one decimeter. Cube. So the concentration of base is 14.3 gram per decimeter cube. So the molar mass is the concentration of a molality. Concentration is 14.3 divided by molality of base 0 0.05. So when you calculate the molar mass is equal to 286. That is procedure number three. We have molar mass. Procedure number four is to determine the value of N in hydrated sodium carbonate. That is our calculations. It means you may not the, the atomic mass of known compound or known element from that molar mass and then or from that relative atomic mass and then the value which remain will be the value of N. That's the end of our lesson for experiment number 60, determination of water crystallization of hydrated base solution or alkyl solution in sodium carbonate. Thank you for listening. Still learning here for the coming lesson or experiment.